Right, so their presentation is over. We've heard from the vice president and other members of the economic management team. But let's speak to some of the participants to find out if their expectations have been met. Hello, Ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. But you now we're inside. Uti ni aumukai. Time I open, I'm sure it's now expectation. Yeah, we expect to have no muka umuka safa. I'm not saying we're not sure expectation. Um. My expectation dear, near now one my dream man can be by a crime, person be so question, and by an emissary, or kind of you know, I'm a summer sassa mechanic, or me and can't be him because Osha may your bar most lonely a dija, a dread if what dear, a no old crown, your man, and that's a banner said due to the higher, no man, no bar, none of wired and then the net yan talk to one her crobe, we are sending your man at them, no one book nti na ukwaya na obaye nti ni yebisa se enu no sai ni ebeye no benyame adun ya bai wa maya ya we se omo ba reduce tax no so omo ba ye firi o maye ho atoye na wodu nwa na bakura na che se eburu ma dwene ni menti ase so nti me de de meka ni se e dada ase and uh, it also means that such interactions are necessary because sometimes plans are afoot but because the populace don't know, they keep criticizing. They don't, they don't appreciate it. So today, but I'm happy. Yes, uh, the policies which have been laid out to help this country go forward are all well meaning. Uh, we are praying that the implementation does not have any stop gaps. And, you know, people, some people, also go to for straight efforts and i think during the implementation when such things come up they should be seen to be punished and it puts everybody on track then but he did not tell us whether government will do something with the those who are paying the 35 percent import they mostly those who import cooking oil tomatoes biscuits frozen food these are the people is uh, the 35 percent is affected so hard so I was thinking that they would say they would go to uh, ECOWAS Commission to look for reduction back to 20% because if you look at the West African uh, sub-region, most of them are taking import duty from 0% to, to 20% and not 35%. So in Ghana, we are taking 35%, which is too high. But having said that, some of the institutional fees in charge were, were so worrisome. And so if they are, they are prepared to make it a flat rate, I think it will help. If they are prepared to even tell some of them that it is not the best of doing business, so they should even go off in the books. I think it will be good. It will be a good news. However, he's, he made us to, he made us to understand that they will have to go to parliament. So I wanted to ask a question: How long would the parliament take for them for the implementation to take effect? For Benjamin Valley, we know that starting from today. But for those institutional fees and charges that they, have, they are paying, including service providers' fees, you know, how long would the parliament get the law being rectified or passed or amended and implementation they will take effect? We want to find out from you. I'm sure you came with expectations. Were your expectations met? And then what, what are your impressions about it? Well, um, uh, for those of us in the free and trade industry, we think that um, the Vice President and EMT has uh, met halfway our expectations. Um, this is where some of the issues that we've been dialoguing and having stakeholder engagement with them for all this while. Uh, examination being reduced from 90% to 10% is quite good. Uh, and the fact that uh, government now wants to uh, put a bill into parliament to reduce um, the, the fees and charges that are being charged in percentage wise per CIF to being a fit rate. Uh, we are happy. But the question is who is going to make sure that what the directives that the EMT has given is really actualized at the grounds? A classical example was a paperless port process where point 101 uh, stated clearly that um, customs has to comply before issuance of CCVR, so that after CCVR you pay your duty, you go clear cargo. But during implementation, now they comply after payment of duty. Who is going to make sure that customs really uh, go to the letter of this directive and make sure that only 10% of containers that are cleared from the port are physically examined? This is an area where some of the officers, uh, I would say, uh, try to do dubious things and take money, I store money from importers and agents. Okay, I've also been joined by a student representative from the University of Professional Studies, Accra. Um, 
I want to find out your expectations, whether your expectations have been made and your general impressions about the meeting. Okay, so my name is Rosette Lavia Fenuko and then obviously I'm a student from UPSA, that's the University of Professionals in Zakra. And gen generally I have come to know and then um, heard the Vice President say a lot. And I believe that so far he has said much important things which are yet to be done, as he said, but um, for the past two years, I know he has done a lot of things which are doing well, and then with with respect to the doom, so as they say, for me personally, I experienced some that was yesterday, but um, the Minister of Energy promised us that from on the 12th of April, that's this year, things are going to be better, and so we are expecting to see that. Um, Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Right, so when you were coming here, what were your expectations? Okay, I'm, I'm actually a student. So when I was coming, I was expecting the vice president to talk about anything that would benefit me, the student, as like job, because we are in the university and we'll be graduating very soon. So employment, how, how well they are going to prepare that for us, prepare that grounds for us when we come out of school. But did he address that? Yes, he did. And for the past two years, from what he said, the job vacancies has increased. And one thing he said that was really, I really liked was he talking about the expansion of the passport years. At first, um, previously it was five years, and now it's ten years. And it's really good because some of us, when we are in school, maybe you start level 100, and you do your passport in level 100. By the time you get to level 400, you have just a year for you to aspire. And maybe you have a traveling dream in the next two or three years after school so now that is 10 years it's helping some of us all right so i've been joined by the tescon president of the university of ghana um, local chapter uh, how are you doing this? i'm good boss all right so tell me uh, what were your expectations when you were coming here oh you know uh, the vice president has said a lot of things and based on his speech and a lot of things that he has promised okay. and look at you you know he was making something that the government has done a lot, but it's, it's based on the poor communication, which is drawing the government back. But if they, are, if they can work on their communication, how they can communicate things to the public, it will really help. Because when I look at uh, about the agreed clothes, uh, right information bill, one district, one factory, NIA, clearance of good. You know, clearance of good from the port was one big problem, but now I think they've been able to work on.